poor Kokona-chan. For over a year, I've been using this girl to test out gameplay mechanics. She's been stabbed, poisoned, drowned, electrocuted, pushed off the roof, bullied into suicide, and chopped up into itty-bitty pieces. What has Kokona done to deserve all this? She has a crush on the same boy that you have a crush on. That's a crime that carries the death penalty. But what if, instead of harming Kokona, we try to help her? If you stalk Kokona, you can eavesdrop on her private conversations. If you listen when she's talking to her best friend, Saki, you will hear her mention that she's been having some trouble at home. Ever since my mom died, my dad's been drinking a lot. Sometimes, when he's drunk, he comes into my room and... Uh, forget I said anything. I really, really don't want to talk about it. Sounds like she's a victim of domestic abuse. If you listen to her phone conversations, you can hear that she's been going on dates with older men in exchange for money. Kokona won't discuss her personal issues with a random stranger, so if you want to talk to Kokona about her problems, you'll have to earn her trust. You can do this by performing a task for her. Once the task is complete, you will gain the ability to ask Kokona about her personal problems, but only in a private and secluded location. If you leave a note in Kokona's locker, you can ask her to meet you on the school rooftop. If you can resist the urge to push her off the roof, you'll have the option of offering to help her with her issues. Oh, you're the one who wanted to meet me here? Your note said that you wanted to talk about domestic abuse? Yes, I heard you talking with Saki. I want to help you with your problem. What is your father doing to you? Oh, you've got it all wrong. My father doesn't do anything to me. Then what does he do when he gets drunk? He... He... He cries. What? He cries and talks about his debt problems. Your father is in debt? When my mom died last year, my family lost a lot of money. My dad took out a loan so that he could continue to pay for my tuition fees, but... It turns out that he borrowed money from some really shady people. They raised the interest rate by 10% every 10 days, and they threatened to get violent with him if he doesn't pay up. Loan sharks. I'm trying to help my dad get out of debt. I'm trying to earn money any way I can, but the only ways to make money fast are gross. What's the name of the business that your father borrowed money from? Um, I think it's called Ronshaku Loans. I'm going to get your father out of debt. What? No! Please, don't get involved! I doubt there's anything you could do about it. You'd be surprised. I appreciate your concern. But I don't think there's anything else to be said. Thanks for letting me talk about my problems. You're welcome. What a surprise. Coconut wasn't being abused by her father. She was concerned for her father because he's being extorted by a loan shark. The only reason Kokona dates older men is because she's trying to earn enough money to pay off her father's debt. Poor Kokona. But how in the world are we going to solve her problems? Oh, hello. I've never seen you around here before. You must be a new character. What's your name? Musume Ronshaku. Hey, that name sounds familiar. Haven't I heard that name recently? 
What's the name of the business that your father borrowed money from? Um, I think it's called Ronshaku Loans. Wait a minute. This is the daughter of the guy who's extorting Kokona's father. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know about you, but I prefer to solve my problems by kidnapping pretty girls and tying them up in my basement. Now, let's use this convenient video camera to record an important message. Watch this video. You scumbag. What have you done to my daughter? I haven't harmed her. Yet. If you ever want to see her again, you must do as I say. What do you want from me? Free all of your clients from debt. Are you insane? That would sink my business! For every day that your clients remain in debt, I'll remove one of your daughter's fingers. If you want her back in one piece, you must act immediately. You monster. Fine. I'll do it. Good decision. My dad just got a phone call. He says his debts have been wiped clean. Did you do this? Yes. What did you do? I can't tell you. That's... kind of scary. But I can't remember the last time I saw my dad this happy. I don't know what you did, and I'm afraid to ask. But you saved my dad. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Words can't express how grateful I am. If there's anything you need me to do for you, just say the word. There is one thing I'd like to ask you for. What is it? Please meet me at my house tomorrow, before school begins. I have something important to tell you. I'll be there. And one last time, thank you. Yandere Chan waits until the clock strikes midnight. She renders Musume Chan unconscious and puts her body into a large musical instrument case. Under the cover of darkness, she travels to the Ronshaku Loans building and leaves the instrument case outside of the entrance. Yandere-chan returns home, sleeps, and waits for Kokona-chan to arrive. The following cutscene is a work in progress and does not reflect the level of quality that will be seen in the final game. In short, the current character models aren't very versatile, and there's only so much that can be done with their facial expressions. You have a nice place, Yanchan. Thanks. Where are your parents? Overseas. So you take care of yourself? That must be hard. I manage. I want to thank you again for helping my dad. I won't ask what you did. I'm sure it's something that you wouldn't want to talk about. But I hope you gave him what he deserved. Loan sharks are awful people. 
I did a bunch of stupid things while I was trying to make money. But my biggest regret was getting Saki involved. I never told her about my dad's debt, but I did tell her that I needed money fast. She tried to help me out by selling her underwear to some boys outside of school. In the end, she couldn't go through with it. So instead of selling her clothes, she threw it over the school wall. I wonder if she ever found it. That must have been so embarrassing for her. I feel so bad about it. But now it's all in the past. You saved my dad. And now I can finally stop spending my time trying to make money in gross ways. Oh, I just realized I've been rambling this entire time. You said that you had something important to tell me, right? Yes. It's about the boy from Class 3-2. The boy you have a crush on. Oh, you know about that? What did you want to say about him? I... I have feelings for him. I've never felt this way about anyone before. And I can't bear the thought of seeing him with anyone else. I know that this is a selfish request, but please don't take him away from me. Let me try to win his heart. I have really strong feelings for that boy. I don't want to lose him. But I could never take someone away from you after everything you've done for me. Okay, I'll stay away from him. Thank you. But you'd better take really good care of him, okay? Don't worry. I will. Most girls probably wouldn't give up on their loved one quite so easily. However, Yandere-chan just saved Kokona's father from a lifetime of debt, and saved Kokona from becoming a teenage prostitute. In this situation, Kokona simply can't say no to Yandere Chan's request. Finally, a happy ending for Kokona. But that's not very Yandere, now is it? This isn't sit down and have a friendly chat simulator. This is Yandere simulator. I wonder what would happen if I pressed the attack button. Well, you'll just have to find out for yourself when you play the game. By the way, there's just one last thing to mention. Musumi-chan was psychologically traumatized by the horrifying experience of being kidnapped and held for ransom. Her previously bubbly personality is gone. Now she is broken. As a result of the experience that Yandere-chan put her through, she will be nervous anxious, and paranoid for the rest of her life. Remember, Yandere-chan is not a good person. She hurts people to get what she wants. Even if you choose to spare your rival's life, someone else will still have to suffer. It's impossible to beat the game without someone getting hurt. Or... Is it?